I've learned in my life that you need to create the conditions for creativity. Especially when I have to brainstorm in a pinch, I need to, you know, set myself up. So for me, that means surrounding myself with imagery. My office has photos all over it. It means word association. That for me unlocks a lot of ideas. So I'll open a magazine and just kind of go back and forth doing word association. But the biggest um, condition for creativity for me is bringing people into the room with me that I feel really comfortable with, who I know I can be myself around. Another condition for creativity for me is laughter. So in my first job, um, other than babysitting, which was at a small magazine called City, and we would all get together and have these brainstorms where you know, they were just like raucous. Like people were throwing out the craziest stuff. It would, so, and I would see this pattern emerge again and again and again. Someone would say something super ridiculous, very absurd. We would all bust out into fits of laughter and then boom, a brilliant idea would follow along. And I truly believe that um, laughter unlocks a higher level of brilliance. The conditions for creativity, um, however, aren't always sunny. A day that was really, really dark for me was the day after the election in the States. I wanted to put on black and crawl into a hole, and I knew that I had to show up for my team on that day. So I didn't put black on, I put on my pink power suit, and I went into the office and I said, you know what, today I'm gonna work with the energy that's there, and I'm gonna help people to turn pain into purpose. And it led to the seeds of us working with the Women's March to create artwork with 30 different artists that brought to life some of the issues that we were marching for. This artwork um, was shared virally by celebrities, by Hillary Clinton herself. Um, we saw people marching with our signs and um, we were even on the cover of the New York Times. And we really just saw people resonating with this work that we created um, in a way that was meaningful. And that's the thing about courageous creativity. When you are courageously creative, you create more courageous creativity in the world. Courageous creativity is contagious. So you are creative, you are courageous. Now go out there and spread that shit. I'm gonna leave you the way we did our guests at 29 Rooms. We made our dream world, now go make yours. Thank you very much. Thank you.